We praise God for Ebony Jefferson, Elder Ebony Jefferson, and her uh, dynamic message on the uh, power of God in our lives. We just appreciate all of our uh, speakers and those who participated uh, in the last several months. I'm outside in the backyard and um, I'm looking at this fig tree. This is one of my favorite trees. I, I get uh, spiritually uplifted when I when I look at the various trees in our garden. And this is a fig tree. It's probably uh, one of the first trees that ever existed for it was a tree in the garden. And I, I'm thinking that if this, if this tree could talk, it would have told Adam and Eve, no, 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 don't eat that tree, the fruit of the tree that you shouldn't eat of. No, don't do that. Come Sooner or later, you're going to come to me anyway. So just, just come to me right now and, and, and taste and see how good the, uh, the fruit is, the, the fig plant. See how, how, how sweet it is to your taste. If you don't do that, you're still going to have to come back to us because sooner or later, you're going to have to cover up your nakedness. So I'm just always delighted and uh, spiritually uplifted when I look at the power and the symbolism of trees. Now directly to my left is a, uh, originally a plum tree. Then over a period of time, something happened to the tree. Uh, the the uh, right side became a peach tree and the left side remained a plum tree. Now it has the same trunk, but the left side is one way and the, the right side produces a different type of fruit. So you try to figure out what happened? Oh, is this, has this tree been grafted? No, it's not grafted. It has the same trunk, but it has different fruits on uh, both sides, on either side. So uh, when, I, when I look at this tree, I think of our condition today, especially uh, among our uh, black churches and our white churches. It seems like the, the black churches understand and speak about the division in America and the various type of cruelties that are taking place and affecting different people. However, you have the, the white evangelicals, they have to see the same thing, and we're all from the same trunk, but they tend to be silent about the issues of our society today. To me, it's very uh, un unfortunate that that is the, the case. So we haven't, we haven't become grafted into the same uh, spiritual uh, branch at, at this time. We, we're, we're somewhat separate uh, but unequal as it relates to worship. And I hope one day that um, the uh, various churches, the white and the black church, that they'll come to some conclusions. I mean, the NBA understands, the, the soccer teams understand, the basketball teams understands. But when it comes down to the white evangelical church, they are silent. That's what I learned from this tree. As I've said, I'm often inspired by the trees, and this tree in particular is the, the lemon tree. They're somewhat green now, but they'll become yellow uh, after a while. People often say that uh, when life gives you uh, lemons, then make lemonade. I think that's you know, a good thought, but I also want to share with you as I look at this uh, lemon tree that the, the tree is designed to produce lemons, and lemons sometimes are most times are kind of bitter, but they are significant. Sometimes in life, uh, we just have to learn to take the bitter with the sweet. Sometimes it's just going to be some things we just have to go through and take it like it is. But it's all part of God's nature, and he'll be with us, and he'll stand by us, and he'll bring us through. So, Lemons, we appreciate you for who you are. My final spiritual analogy and I'm oftentimes encouraged when I look at this avocado tree because we had this tree for 15 years. For 15 years there was no fruit or maybe there was an avocado every now and then. But it got to the point where my wife said we need to get a tree that's going to produce avocados. So she bought this, this tree here. I guess it's going to take some time for it to grow. And then she suggested perhaps you should just you know, cut down the old tree and make room for the new. After 15 years, that made sense to me. But then I looked 
at the tree as I was uh, uh, preparing to get my shovel and the axe and uh, get ready to dig it up and, and, and cut it down. I guess the tree was feeling like Isaac when uh, Abraham had Isaac and he was taking him to sacrifice him and, and Isaac looked at it and he said, well, I see the, uh, I see an axe, uh, I see that that which you need to make a fire, who's going to provide the sacrifice? And Abraham said, Jehovah Jireh, God will provide. So when I look at this tree, I think of uh, that story that uh, you know, we're just about ready to cut it down, but at the last hour, God stepped in and provided avocados. And sometimes we get too impatient in life, but I suggest to you on this morning, to sit back and just wait on the Lord. Uh, the songwriter used to say he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. We thank you for sharing with us on this uh, spirit-filled worship service, and we hope to see you again next Sunday at the same time. It's the same places. God bless you.